One real drawback to electric vehicles is that their driving range is significantly impacted by colder temperatures. I experienced this on my 2011 Chevy Volt, on my 2018 Volkswagen e-Golf, and now on the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. Now the impact is twofold. Part of it is because when it's colder outside, you're a lot more likely to use the climate control on the vehicle, your heated seats, your heated steering wheel, and those features have a much more significant impact on range in an electric vehicle than they would in a gasoline-powered vehicle. And then secondly, when it's colder out, the battery and all of the components operate a lot less efficiently, and that by itself also has a very significant impact on the driving range. And in today's video, we're gonna take a quick look at the impact on the Lightning. Now, my Lightning is the standard range model, which has an EPA estimated range of 230 miles. They also offer the Lightning with an extended range battery pack and sees that increase to an estimated 320 miles of range. As far as how that translates to real world driving conditions, in my case, it's been pretty accurate. I generally see about 220 to 240 miles on a full charge, uh, primarily driving in town with a little bit of highway driving mixed in, and I'm pretty easy on the throttle. Very little towing that I've done as well. Now, as the temperatures have uh, really dropped down into that colder range, say 25 to 35 degrees, and we're talking Fahrenheit, uh, all of a sudden the range is impacted significantly, dropping down to about 195 to 205 miles of range. That's equivalent to about a 15% drop in total range. To put that in perspective, on a gasoline powered truck, let's say you got 14 miles per gallon in the city and 21 miles per gallon on the highway, that would be like seeing those numbers drop to 12 and 18 just because the temperature had dropped. Now again, that's due to two different factors. One being that when it's really cold, the battery pack is just a lot less efficient and you lose a lot of that range. And then secondly, when it's cold out, you're a lot more likely to use the heat, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and all of those systems have a much more significant impact on range in an electric powered vehicle than in a gasoline powered vehicle. Uh, the HVAC system in particular has a really significant impact and so I've tried to prioritize using the heated seats and steering wheel the majority of the time. When I've got my kids in the car, when the window's fogging up, then I'm more likely to use the HVAC system as well. Now if we see a 15% drop in efficiency going from that 50 to 80 degree temperature range down to a 25 to 35 degree temperature range, brings up the question, what's gonna happen when you get to those super cold temperatures? Let's say te temperature drops down to zero degrees or 10 degrees. Is that drop gonna continue? And my experience with both the Chevy Volt and the Volkswagen e-Golf is most likely yes. That's gonna continue to get worse. The battery pack will continue to be much less efficient and you're gonna see a very significant drop regardless of what you do with the HVAC system. And then more than likely, if it gets really cold outside, you're not gonna be able to sustain with just the heated seat and the steering wheel as much. You're gonna be using that HVAC system a lot more consistently, and you're also gonna be closing a larger differential gap between the outside temperature and what's comfortable inside. And so uh, definitely a very significant impact as that temperature drops. Mild cold temperatures, you're gonna see a lesser impact. And as you get to those really cold temperatures, it's gonna be a lot more significant. Let's say that you saw a 30% efficiency drop getting down to you know, zero or 10 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside. Going back to our example of a gasoline powered truck that got 14 to 21 miles per gallon, that would be the equivalent to seeing that drop to about 10 to 15 miles per gallon. So there you have it. That's a look at the impact of colder temperatures on driving range in the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning. It's definitely an issue, especially when you take into consideration other factors like snow tires, larger tires, um, towing, those things all impact an electric vehicle significantly. Then you add into the equation the impact of those colder temperatures, and you're gonna start losing a lot of range as you um, see the amplified effect of those various features. So it's not something that you can't work past depending on how you use the vehicle, but it's definitely something that you wanna take into consideration because it does affect the overall range. If you guys enjoyed today's video or if it was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And for more videos of the 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.